What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Mike's Kicks. As you can tell by the title, we'll be going over the off-white Nike Dunk Low Lot 9. Um, <clears throat> before we go ahead and jump into the shoe, I wanted to talk about some of my favorites, some of the ones that look good, and <clears throat> the ones I'm really in between with. Well, my top two favorite is um, Lot 3 and Lot 50. I'm, I'm picky about 50, but, you know, I'd wear it because I like purple a lot. And it has that little dash of purple and the shoes all black. So you can really throw anything on with it. Um, the ones I'm in between with that looks good is my favorite. I said 15 and 28. <clears throat> the one I said that looks good is uh, number 7 and 21. I actually like 7 7 really pops out. Um, the one I'm in between with looks good and is okay is 24. And the one I said is okay is lot 36. So, really, any of the ones that are from Lot, or the one I said that looks good and my favorite, I'd really, really wear, and I'd really like to have, and hopefully we can have that in the future. Just keep growing, and we'll just keep moving on. Before we hop into the shoe, I was going to go ahead and let y'all know, let's keep running those views up on the last video. Let's just keep letting it grow, keep liking, keep commenting, subscribe, let's just share the page. I really want to do this, um, do the giveaway for y'all. I do not know exactly what it will be, but when the time comes, we will do it. I will be making a banyard for it on Instagram. I'll be doing everything for that just so we can get this giveaway going, and it'll be really fun, and I think it'll help me grow in the process, and then I'll grow more viewers also. So first off, we're going to go ahead and start with the box. So as y'all can tell, it's usually an off-white box. Virgil always likes to go crazy with his boxes. Looks like a little scribble scrabble he has his, the the, fa the off white face with his hands on each end. I'm pretty sure all the boxes look alike. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at every box. I haven't seen all of them in person. You got your label right there. It's marked off which lot number it is out of 50. Let's see. We'll go ahead and go over to the tag. Size nine and a half. I did have a size ten. Shout out to Red Rose for size swapping. The only reason why I size swap because I might be keeping this shoe. I do not know yet. So yeah, here's your label and your tag, your retail at 180. And we'll just go ahead and open the box. It don't lift up like the um like his uh other colorways that he did have before he brought out all the lots. Just normal, you know, off-white paper right there. Sorry y'all. But yeah. And also, if I don't like, if I do see any of the other ones I said that are my favorite and looks good, I will be willing to see if I can get a trade on these. So, we're going to go ahead and hop into the shoe. We're going to get a first a close-up right here. I really like this colorway also. I was just lucky enough to get my hands on it by my homeboy Blade. He was like, yo, I got a uh, Lot 9. Uh, size 10 and he got me a uh, I paid lower I paid lower than lowest ass actually so yeah I'm gonna uh, start detailing uh, almost on all the off-white Nike dunk lows out of all 50 each pair the zip tie your tongue and your insoles will always match I wish I had another pair just so I can show y'all and compare but any any of the lots your zip tie your tongue and insole will always match um these will never match really some pairs they uh do match on the shoe i really love this this like pink right here what do you want to call it like a um, baby pink baby pinkish the light is really bright this uh circle light but it's like a baby pink and you got like your kind of looks like the earth uh, like an earth color like a blue and lime green, a little bit lighter than the earth colors. And then right here, we got like a baby blue tag on your back. You know, you got your Nike right here. So, yeah, that's that's that. And uh, before I uh, keep uh, moving on, slot number one or lot number one through ten is leather like this. It's all leather. This is a very good leather. And then it's mesh right here. That's lot number one through 10. Lot number 11 through 20 is suede. So right here, it's gonna be a suede 
on the shoe and then right here it's gonna be this leather right here on lot number 11 through 20 and it flips every 10 so when we get back to 21 to 30 it's also leather they go back to like this kind of style and then 31 to 40 it goes back to uh, back to suede and then this leather and then 41 to 50 is it goes back to like this y'all could go check them out um, people who I also watch that get all the lot numbers uh, common height uh, them I really love their channel uh, y'all could go check out Harrison Neville too their channel is pretty sweet also they'll you could be able to look at all the other what's it called it all the other lots and then most of them most of the uh, lots they'll be it'll say made in Vietnam some of the fake pairs actually they'll they won't have this tag on it and the box will say made in China if that's one thing y'all want to keep an eye out for if y'all ever get one of these lots here goes the right shoe, the one that without the zip tie. So yeah, like I said, this this is pretty cool that they close to match. It's the it's the same blue. It's a little bit brighter up here because they don't have this green in it. But yeah, that's one thing y'all could pay attention to on these lot numbers. That um these tags sometimes uh, they won't have them on the real pair. There's a lot of fakes out there. There's more than y'all think. This one has the hand. I wanted to show y'all that too. I don't know if all of them are like that. I think some of them probably had double faces, double hands. Here, I'm going to turn that over. It's on my face. I'm using my face to prop it up. But there y'all go. Kind of similar to the top of the box. And But it's black on the shoe right here. You got the hand in the face. And then it's green on the box. So, yeah. And uh, one thing that makes this shoe stand out uh, that, well, all the lots stand out is um, people been taking the the shoestring the the colored shoestrings out and wearing them like that which don't look bad at all but you know why get the off-white if you don't want to wear the string one thing i wish virgil would have done with these shoes right here or at least would have tried you know he would have made different shoe color strings or i mean i'm pretty sure you could order them i don't know but i think it looked nice you could probably customize your own off-white um like colorway like this these this you know the tongue the insole but yeah and i'll let y'all check out the tongue too i don't know if every tongue's uh, identical but the top of the tongue's uh really similar to this uh, mesh color right here, this mesh right here it's kind of like a cloth or like a you know uh, it's kind of similar to the off-white jordan one the chicago or the uh, other ones uh, but right here on the tongue it's that mesh also you got like a hole right here that's kind of similar to the box you got like a cut right here that's uh, like it's resemblance to the hole. And you also got your Nike right here, which is like a, it's actually, it's actually a good material. I don't know what it, that is exactly made out of. It's probably just stitched. But the back end of the shoe is uh, another, like another type of leather also right here as it is on the sides. And on the inside of the shoe, what I really like is, um, here, I'll pop this out for y'all. On the very front, it's, well, it's to the very front. The very top of the shoe is really close, and it has the same Nike sign as the front of the box. And um, the insole, the, not the insole, the, where your, hair, your heel goes on the shoe, and in the shoe. I really love the material they use. It's also another leather. I'm pretty sure um, it's, sim it's similar to the leather that's up here, but it's very, it's a very tough leather, and it, leather, and it actually, you know, it's comfortable. So, yeah. Really love this shoe. I'll probably get some roll on it, get some pictures of it. Uh, I do already have pictures. I've not posted them up because they're not for sale at the moment. I really don't know what I want to do with this shoe right here. So, yeah. So, another thing I want to tell y'all is um, to keep y'all's eye out for uh, some pair. There are some pair that are fake. Y'all could go check out other videos. This isn't really, you know, a fake versus real shoe, but I, I will point out some things to y'all. You know, on the tag, which I didn't cover earlier. Um, it has the hand, the face, and the hand, and it'll say off-white, and it'll give you a lot number. On some of the fake ones, they won't really have this. And then also, your your tag will be extra long, like extra long. And then, what's another thing? Another thing you can really pay attention to uh, on your fakes is this right here. This number in the back right here. It's kind of at an angle. Like, I'm going to try to hold the shoe flat with the camera. This is at an angle a little bit, so it's a little bit short right here. And as you go up it's you know angled and then on the fake pair this is also really skinny like that font 
on some of the fake pair are super skinny, like pencil lead skinny. Uh, what's another thing I could point out for y'all? Your 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 laces too. Always pay attention to your laces where it says shoe laces on them, and also where it says shoe laces on the, uh, your colored string. And on your colored string, the font will also be really skinny sometimes on those too. And uh, the box, I could point out something on the box that a lot of people don't pay attention to, which y'all couldn't really see earlier. The light is too bright. But right here, let's try to see if I can get a better view. Where it says your retail price and it says 180. It's supposed to be like chunkier, like shorter and bolder. And a lot of your fakes, it's really long and skinny, which, you know, that, that gives away if they're fake or not. And then right here, it won't give your colors like right now it says sale neutral gray and then it has it in spanish or french or i don't know which language it is i'm sorry and it has it also in that color too but then on our fakes it'll just be like pink and gray or it'll be, you know say it'll be something simple it won't give you your your whole number so yeah always check just slight little things on your box um another one your your thing on the inside right here if you look at it there is fake ones out there if you look at it you should see like little ridges that run through it, like little lines that are real parallel with each other, uh, which mine do have. And then just make sure, you know, everything looks legit. Another thing I paid attention to in some videos, like you see how, I mean, you can see a little bit on this one, how it has like the glue right here a little bit. You can't really see much, like just looking at it. But on the fakes, like you can see it, like it's, it's like bright. Like it's, it's just like so bright. You could tell they're fake. So yeah, like I said, y'all love the shoe. Really looking for a lot number three, 50, 15, 28, and 7 and 21. Those are my top-ish uh, ones. And then 24 and 36. And then like I said, 7 and 21. It's my in-betweens. So yeah. Really love this shoe, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all leave a like. Let me know if y'all like the review. Hopefully I covered everything. I don't do reviews much. Um and yeah, check out the last video. Let's keep growing. 200 uh, subs. We're doing a giveaway. Make sure y'all follow the Instagram.